Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about Blood Gas. Uh, Blood Gas is a card that was not going to be reprinted. It is a card now <laughs> whoppingly over 12 bucks. Is it like it's over $10? I know for a fact, and that just seems very funny to me. Like I see, find that so funny that a card like this can be over 10 bucks. Uh, the reason it's funny to me is because Zendikar itself was one of the most crazy valuable sets in the history of magic. You can open a fat pack of Zendikar, get the lands, and sell the lands for 20 bucks cash right now, buy list. Like those 40 full art lands are, and the reason I'm talking about Zendikar is because we're going back to Zendikar. Should the fat packs have full art lands and fetch lands in them? You're talking about if you're talking about a fat pack where you make money. Like Zendikar, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my Zendikar fat pack, which I'm sitting on and taking a look at. It's not much, is it anything in it? Yeah, it's not like a great design, but the fact of the matter is you get 40 full art lands that if you keep sealed, you can sell for 20 bucks right now, right? Is that impressive? Yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive, I would say. And then you have five Zendikar fetch lands, which at some point, Two of them were over a hundred bucks and then you have these cards which even the uh, So outside of the planeswalkers, which the planeswalkers were not You know premium planeswalkers. They were good, but not the best particular planeswalkers. You have cards that are just randomly ten dollars so when we go back to Zendikar and if there are our full art lands in every fat pack my lesson I've learned, I bought so many fat packs of Zendikar and I immediately sell, well at that time it wasn't 20 bucks, it was like 10 bucks, you immediately sell the land pack to the store. And then after selling the land pack to the store, then your, so a fat pack costs about $30 I want to say, it was less back then, but right now for me it costs $30, sometimes $27.50, but yeah, assume it's $27.50, I could probably sell just the lands alone for Twelve fifty, fifteen dollars of value uh, out of nine fat packs. You pull definitely a fetch land, and you're already ahead. On top of everything else that you're pulling, so should Zendikar be crazy good? Return to Zendikar be crazy good. You need to buy as many fat packs as you can if it has full art lands. I mean, just the idea of Zendikar. I've never opened a fat pack of Zendikar where I didn't make double my money. That's what it is. Zendikar is incredible. Uh, it was incredible as a valuable set. Like I don't think any set I can ever say that when it comes out, you buy it and then within a year, whatever you opened or didn't open just doubles in price. But that's essentially what Zendikar is. And that's why I feel like Zendikar will be one of the best sets. Return to Zendikar will be an incredible set. Uh, mainly because it, it's, the full art lands make it extremely, extremely relevant to, and then every land, you get a land in every pack too. Like that's crazy, right? It's so crazy, like what you get from a Zendikar fat pack. Uh, now that we think about it, but should we return to Zendikar, that would be exactly the same. But yeah, this card is $10 now. <laughs> and this makes me laugh, because like it's, oh, it's such a bad card in Zendikar. I feel like it was like a dollar or two at most. <laughs> when I purchased them. Bye guys.